Hello, I'm Carby Morris and I'm here today to talk about Doctor Who, The Woman Who Lived. Now this is a spoiler heavy review, so if you haven't seen the episode and you really don't want it ruined, don't watch this review because it will spoil it for you. That's what spoilers do. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about the good, let's talk about the bad, the things I liked, the things I didn't. Let's review Doctor Who. So let's begin at the teaser, and uh, the, the Doctor arrives on Earth again. He's, he's got nowhere else to go. I mean, there's only the entire universe out there, so, yeah, you know, why are you going anywhere else, really? You know, Earth Earth is Earth is just fine. Um, yeah, this this two part could have been put further into the season. There was there was no need to conclude the story this week. Um, they they could have followed this story up with something else. Let something else come in between this episode and just shove this one to sort of like episode nine, and maybe then it would have had a bit more weight to it, uh, given that it was the follow up episode to. Uh, the girl who died. Um, yeah, you get the start, and basically the start is that a stagecoach is being robbed by a highwayman. I I liked the setup. I I did like the setup. I thought it's a good way to start off a tease. It's a good way to do. You get a bit of action going on. You get a bit of movement. Um, you create a little bit of intrigue in what's going on. My real problem with the tease was the fact that they went to the extent of changing Maisie Williams' voice but you could still tell it was her. Um, I, I think I would have preferred it if they had uh, kept her in shadow back, you know, against the backlight so you couldn't see the face. Um, I think that would have worked a bit better. Um, so yeah, I, I, it was it was a good concept for a teaser, but the execution of it let it down, and there was no there was no surprise when the mask came off. It was just like, oh, of course it is. <laughs> it's exactly who I thought it was going to be. So he gets to the other side of the uh, the titles and read into the story where the doctor is searching for this amulet. Um, it turns out his Amulet, I think it's called the Eyes of Hades, I think it is. Uh, we find out that it's set in the year 1651. And the next boat in the show is pretty much the Doctor searching through Mii's past. And um, there, was a, there was a lot to absorb. I'm not going to lie, there, there was a, a, an absolute ton of, of material to absorb. Um, also, you'll find out that in this scene, they use an extensive amount of feathered vignette border around the frame of this uh, episode. Uh, it's extensive, it's, it's used quite a bit in this episode. Also, one of the other things I found interesting with this episode was that there was a colour divide. That the uh, episode itself actually was divided into two main colours. Sort of uh, natural light in blue and then uh, artificial light, flame light then in orange. So the, there was this blue and orange colour divide in, in, in the show. Um, kind of works really well. I mean, they used a similar sort of thing in like films like Blade and stuff like that, you know, where... You know, it was sort of uh, orange for night and blue for day kind of thing. Uh, they, in this, they, they went for the sort of blue for natural light, and it seemed to, uh, I, it seemed to make things look cold. If, if, I'm, if I'm being honest with you, the color grading in this seemed to make things look cold. It, it didn't look like a very warm climate. Um, given that it was probably shot in, you know, Newport or whatever, it, it probably wasn't. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of feathering going on. Uh, and those damn sonic glasses are back. Oh my god. I, I, give me strength. He's staring at candles now to light them. I mean, oh. 
do something with those damn glasses. You know, add a f an effect in, you know, at least put a beam effect or, 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 or just, like I said, change the colours of the lens, make them light up, do something. Don't just have a bloody pair of shades. Um, it's, it's annoying that, 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 you know, a subtle little effect like that, you know, and we're talking about a cheap effect, would make all the difference and these things, I mean, th this is what's making the thing just fall down, is the fact that he puts it on and you get a noise, you know, the insert a noise effect, because I, because of why, I, I don't know. Um, then you had me and the doctor go in search of the amulet, so they decided to go off and raid a mansion. It's all perfectly well and good, but... They inserted this escape from the mansion that was pretty much, um, it was like this sort of fun little scene where they escape into a room, the person sleeping, you know, the standard plot, you know, they've got to creep past the sleeping bear kind of thing. Um, it was a bit of fun, but ultimately the, this entire scene was just chewing up time. There, you, there was nothing going on in this scene. Absolutely nothing. It was it was like they'd run out of script early on and decided to put this bit in just to pad time. Because you you weren't learning anything new about what was going on, you weren't learning anything new about the story, you weren't learning anything new about the characters that were involved. It it was just a silly bit of silliness. And sometimes that's that's okay to have these bits, but this went on for a while. I mean not only did they do the whole thing in the inside the lounge where by the hiding behind the sofa and all that. Uh, and by, by the way, the person was fast asleep, so who the hell lit all those candles? And why? Um, but they, they were doing this foolish bit inside the lounge, and then this whole foolish bit where they, they were inside the chimney. Um, no. No. But anyway, they get back to Mee's mansion and... The doctor finds out that me is working with a Lyonian, a guy who looks like Ron Perlman from Beauty and the Beast, uh, except for some reason can breathe fire. What? 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 I, I mean, it's it it it's a man lion. It's a man lion. You take a man, you cross him with a lion, this is what you end up with. At what point did somebody think, oh, it needs to breathe fire? It's got day glow orange eyes that are, that are luminescent in the dark, and it can breathe fire. Because that's what lions do. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I, 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 that, that confounded me. Uh, uh, totally, just like you're having a laugh. Um, difficult to get past that one. Um, but then, I think what brought me back down then was the whole back and forth between me and the doctor. And back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. She stopped, she, oh, she just kept whining and pissing and moaning and complaining for 30 bloody minutes. No wonder she was alone, because anybody who was with her probably up to up sticks and buggered off. Um, you know, 30 minutes and I was getting ready to quit. Um, it was, it was, no, no, it, it, they wasted a lot of time in this episode. There was a lot of stuff that, I, I know they had to sort of cover centuries or something like that, but really and truly the Doctor should have just dealt with the now. This is who the person is now. And um, th there was a lot of stuff where you were just like, you know, I I really don't care. Get past this and get into finding this damn amulet and make something happen. Um, I don't feel it built the character at all. Um, but no, that's not true. It did build the character. It built the character to the point where I was getting ready to switch the bloody thing off. Um, so, there, there was that, but, I will say, 
there were bits that I did like. There were, there were touches. There were these little moments, and every now and again, there were these little moments between the two of them, which I did like. Now, if they had cut out the rest, it would, it would have been brilliant. I mean, the, the episode would have been 15 minutes long, but it would have, it would have been a damn sight better. Um, yeah, Lionians. Lionians. We've had cat people in Doctor Who before. We're not, I'm not just talking about the nuns from New Earth. I'm talking about the cat people from Survival. Lionians. They look like lions. This was the best name they could come up with. This, this, this reminds me of the time I was watching Star Trek Voyager and they wanted to come up with a name for a pulse that interfered with things and they came up with Interferometric. Uh, same sort of thing. It, 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 it just made me go, really? Um, then you get to the end of the episode and you've got Sam Swift who is getting ready to be executed and it turns out that the amulet requires a sacrifice to make it work. Uh, it, it costs somebody's life to open up the portal and it turns out that the portal isn't for getting out but for letting things in. It's for, it's for letting in all the nasty beasties from this other realm to conquer Earth. It's a standard invasion story, okay? If you've, if, you, if you've watched Avengers, same story. It's exactly the same story. They open up a, up a portal that lets all these beasties in. It's exactly the same story. You close the portal and they all die, probably. Um, that would be my guess. Um, and then you get this moment then with me whereby she has a complete, we're talking Anakin into Darth Vader light switch moment in character. It was like, no, 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 I don't care, everybody can die, everybody can die, their lives mean nothing to me, all of a sudden, oh no, 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 I care, I don't want them to die, I want everybody to live, I, I, I will save you all. And it was like, Re you've, you've been pissing, whining and moaning for the past 30 minutes about how you don't give a toss about anybody and all of a sudden you want to save people. I, 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 I cannot believe that happened. I thought that the Doctor was going to have to deal with this and then get to the end of the episode and go, right, I'm going to have to deal with you now. I, I am going to have to deal, because of what you've done, I am going to have to deal with you. And that, that didn't happen. It was like, uh, you know, why would you waste this moment? Why would you waste, you've built up this character, you've, you've shown that this character started off as a good person, has fallen into evil like that, and requires redemption. And the part, I mean, the difference here is that with Darth Vader's redemption, it came at the hands of his son. It, it, it took... And, and bear in mind now that Darth Vader knew that Luke Skywalker was his son for a long time. So they had a bit of a... He had time to think about what he had done. He had had years to think about what he had done. And then Luke forces him to change. And that, that's good. This was light switch. This was Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Bloody light switch change. Um, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, and then they wasted more time then with these stupid doctor doctor jokes on, on, on with the noose and everything it was uh, this was a waste of an episode if you if you watch this episode there, there are good things in this episode mind you there are some good things in this episode but if you watched this episode of doctor who you wasted 45 minutes of your time that you could have spent i i don't know cleaning the grout in your bathroom maybe um doing the dishes there was there was more interesting stuff going on, you know. You you, you could you could have clean clean cobwebs out of a corner or, or something, you know. Um, as it was, you ended up sitting down watching this episode of Doctor Who, which it wasn't even padding. It wasn't even padding. It was it wasn't a good episode. It it wasn't. There were elements of good in it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crap all over this episode. There were elements of good in this episode. 
if we got a bit more of the character of, of, of me and uh, I felt that that was a strong build but it was let down by the end. The end let this character down. Um, there was even a nice little reference to uh, a couple of things in this episode. First of all, uh, in the uh, there was a reference to the Fifth Doctor, um, where he mentioned about the the Great Fire of London, and there was obviously a nice little reference to Captain Jack Harkness. Um, uh, bring back Captain Jack. You know, just just for one episode. You know, I'm sure I know I know John Barman is busy doing Arrow. One episode won't kill him. And I, I, I know he'll be up for it. He definitely will. He'll be up for it, and us as an audience will also be up for it as well. Um, and then you get past the entire story that you know she's going to look out for the people that the doctor leaves behind, and she is going to be there watching him. And she said, you know, uh, your enemies are fine, but it's your friends you've got to watch out for. Um, that was her take on it. And then you get this end bit in the TARDIS with Clara. Why? Why in the name of buggery is she there? You got an entire episode without Clara. Uh, you didn't need it. They could have ended the episode with him getting to the box and just the TARDIS fading away. And and you could have had this real nice moment whereby, you know, like I said, if they if she if he hadn't light switched her character and you say, you know, I'm gonna keep an eye on you and then leave it like that and leave her, you know, sort of not not so much stranded but alone. And then go in the box and dis disappear. It would have been a, a creative moment really. But this whole thing where he he finds a picture of her on her, of course he does. Of of course he finds a picture of me on his on Clara's iPhone because oh she's watching it's truth um I get like the fact that he was just there playing his guitar and that would have been you know con in contemplation that, that that was a nice bit as well so there were really there were nice bits in this episode that there were nice things that I took from it like I said I took a lot of me's uh, background a lot of what she had to live through. They could have expanded on that just to fill out her character, just so that you you felt more humanized by this. This have this character humanized and have you feel more for this character. They, they could have spent the episode taking treating this character as the episode of treating this character as you know this is why this character is this way. But a lot of the stuff they skipped over and they done this last week by the way, last weekend. When they done uh, the girl who died, they skipped over the entire face thing. And I, I met somebody uh, sent me a post uh, on last week's episode. I think it was uh, I can't remember who it was. I, I can't remember the name. Sorry, but um, and I did reply to it because uh, they they could have spent an entire episode talking about why he's got the face he's got. And they literally they just skipped over it, and it was just like right, th th that's done. Moving on. And it was like, no, no, that deserves a bit more time than, than, you know, 15 seconds of an episode. And her character deserved more build just for us to, to anchor onto her. Um, but no, no, it, everything's fine now. The, doc, the doctor uh, put her into a situation, not really, um, that she had got herself into. And he didn't do anything about it really at all that I can think of. Um, in fact, I can't think of anything the Doctor did in this episode. No, no, can't think of a single thing that he did. He, he, she'd done the breaking in, she stole the amulet, she got to, to the point where she opened up the portal, she had the thing to fix Sam, uh, she administered it, uh, she closed up the portal, and for some reason when the portal died, so did the Leonian. Not a clue why. I'm not a clue. Why did he die? Take a guess. The, 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 the wind blew from east to west and there was a barometric change in the atmosphere and therefore he disintegrated. Not a clue. 
and that's the only scientific episode, uh, explanation you're ever going to get as to why he, he disappeared. Um, uh, yeah, not not a great episode at all. They, they didn't. Uh, it's better than some of the ones they had last season, no, no question. But really and truly, oh, this was a lull. I mean, this was a sump of an episode. You know, uh, on a rainy day, this episode would have filled with water. That's how deep this episode got. It, it was um, not good at all. But I rate this episode out of 10. 4.5 you know they could have told exactly the same story in this episode if they cut all the crap out of this episode they could have told exactly the same story and probably done it in 12 minutes um, this wasn't good at all anyway what did you think of this episode of Doctor Who uh, did, did you like it am I wrong have I, have I overlooked certain things please feel free to let me know uh, you can let me know in the comments below, you can subscribe to this channel, you can go over and join me on Google Plus and now you can also join me on Twitter at Calvin Morris. But until the next review, I'll see you later guys.